It's my time-traveling finger. Whatever I touch travels back in time. So your finger doesn't actually travel through time? No. Well, that's kind of a misleading statement, then. Hey, it's my time-traveling finger. Check out my new t-shirt. It has the number four on it. Because that's the number of dollars you spent on it? No, that's just coincidence. See, four isn't too pretentious, but it's high enough to pique your interest. I'm more interested in that blowtorch Ralph is carrying. Don't mind me. I'm just building a doghouse or something. Why would he want to live in a doghouse? He already lives in a human house. I was going to get number three, but I thought it was too flashy. Tell me I don't look awesome. Hey, I was wearing that! He does eat dog food, though. Maybe that's why he's always breaking the toilet. You know, my pants have a number on them, too. You should make them disappear to complete the outfit. All right! I'm a freaking wizard! Hey, why didn't you change? <laughs> I told you there weren't any bears here, John. What are we supposed to eat now? Wait, we were going to eat the bear? I thought we just wanted to shoot a bear so chicks would think we're cool. Hey, it's some kind of T-shaped shirt. People will think I invented it. No, they'll think I invented it. Just like I invented the clock a doodle The wristwatch you wear on your forehead. Eh, you have to wind it too much. Come on, let me take credit for the shirt. It makes more sense. John T-shirt, inventor of the T-shirt? Yeah, right. It's not believable. Now that's believable. John! So where's the bear, John? We're starving, and we were promised a three-course bear dinner. I got something better than bear meat. It's a t-shirt. I invented it. Uh, what's with the blood? That's, uh, design. It's, uh, cool, colorful, and hip. I mean, it's the bear's blood. It got on the shirt after I shot it. John T-shirt, you've done it again! What's Red Velvet Realty? It's a rock band you've never heard of. Oh, he's such a rebel. And a trendsetter. John, I'd like you to meet Mrs. Halloween Costume, the top clothing designer in Europe. Actually, it's Miss Halloween Costume, but you can call me Anita. Well, this partnership is sure to take the fashion world by storm. A year from now, people be wearing nothing but your designs. Do you believe that? People actually bought the whole costumes for clothes thing. I know you're not really sick, John. I know what you've really been doing with that sexy nurse. What? No, I swear, she's really a nurse. And this cough just won't go away. <coughs> Trick or treat. Well, looks like his cough is gone. I love your shirt, by the way. Oh, thank you. Man, I love Halloween. Dressing up, eating candy, and having fun. I wonder how death and scaring people got unnecessarily mixed in. You know you're not actually a wizard. It's just Halloween every day now. Well, then where's all the candy? We're kind of adults, so we have to give the candy away. Crap. Um, the toilet's broken. Crap. We need to change your diet. Crap. Trick or treat! Crap. Crap. <laughs>